Seven minutes past the hour uh, in the same areas where Superstorm Sandy hit, many of those places are now going to deal with a new possible yeah. storm on Wednesday. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Good yep. morning, PJ. Good morning, Robin. Yeah, this storm system uh, could be very serious over the next uh, couple of days, and you know we're following it very closely because, of course, you know how many people are exposed to the elements, how many people remain without power, and the elements, uh, as far as the weather ingredients, are coming together. The jet stream dipping all the way south, and notice how it rides right up the Atlantic coastline. That's the track this storm is forecast to take, and we think sometime around Tuesday night, heavy rain showers around Election Day across portions of the southeast, really the area with the most inclement weather across the U.S. for uh, Election Day, and then the storm track right up the coast. The temperatures will cool off. The winds will get very gusty. A storm surge with this as well, up to two feet, and we know high tide back in Atlantic City. You know, we didn't think we'd be talking about this again in just a few days, but high tide is in the afternoon, about one in the afternoon on uh, Wednesday in Atlantic City. This storm forecast to come in Wednesday night could increase that tide a couple of feet as it comes in, and winds uh, could get up to 65 miles per hour, as some of the models indicate with the storm system. But uh, right now, I want to take you out to New York City, show you what it looks like this morning across that area. We know Clouds, a few clouds in the area there. The temperatures in the upper 30s and low 40s going to clear up by the afternoon hours. The next couple of nights, Robin, it's going to get very cold, much colder than this time last week, possibly down into the upper 20s and low 30s along the northeast there. And we have so many people still without power. Yeah, and the um, cumulative effect of, of the cold definitely could impact. You know, we've often talked about in the summer with heat, uh, it could definitely yeah. build after a week of no power. So your body um, has an cumulative effect um, when it's hot outside. You're saying the same thing when it's cold. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Be exposed to it long enough and not warm up your core consistently for a long enough period definitely could be deadly after a few a few weeks. Okay, PJ is in for Bob. Thank you so much. Yeah. Will Ferrell's